Hello, and uh, thank you very much for joining me on this journey. I'm really excited uh, about starting this journey with you. For me, this is all about how we can use our skills as researchers to do something really special and to make the world that little bit better. Uh, call me an idealist, but that's what I believe. That is why I'm sitting here doing this. Now, whatever the reasons are that you're coming into this, we'll explore some of those uh, as part of this. It is my belief that by engaging with the impact that you can have, that you can do more and better research and you can have a hell of a lot of fun as well. Uh, as you work through the five steps that will follow, you're going to get practical skills that you can use directly, immediately, today in your research that will immediately give you a step change in the level of impact that you can have. Uh, also, we're going to run through a bunch of exercises that you can do in real time, uh, embedding this stuff actually in your research with your team uh, so that you get the confidence you need to actually go out there and try some of this stuff for yourself. The work that we're going to be doing is all based on uh, original empirical research that myself and my colleagues uh, have done. Uh, and you can read uh, all about that uh, beneath this video. But I'm going to finish by introducing you uh, to that research and to five ways that you can fast track your impact. Thanks. Albert Einstein said that nothing truly valuable can be achieved except by the unselfish cooperation of many individuals. Buzz Hollings said individual human or small groups can at times transform the big, that is, transform the politics and institutions of governance. Leonardo da Vinci said, I've been impressed with the urgency of doing. Knowing is not enough. We must apply. Being willing is not enough. We must do. Mother Teresa said, we ourselves fail. But what we are doing is just a drop in the ocean. But the ocean would be less because of that missing drop. Power. Enlightenment. Books. Something to think about, to have in your mind, rather than have it blank. Excellent. <laughs> Very good. London taxi drivers. <laughs> For me, knowledge is power. Power to transform the way that we think and act. It's like a knowing smile. You can express what you hold inside you in words, or if it's more just a hunch, a sense of something, then you might express it non-verbally. Like a smile, knowledge can be infectious. We're learning from and influencing each other all the time. But what makes some of us able to get our ideas across more effectively than others? What is it that makes some ideas live and multiply, while others disappear before anyone could put them into practice? Knowledge exchange is um, the process of using, sharing and generating information with stakeholders. It's about know-how, it's about skills, it's about experience, it's about respecting all these different types of knowledges. It needs to be organised carefully to have a trail to evidence so that you know where that knowledge, that information and understanding has come from. We, we can't look at things in a holistic way unless we share knowledge. Participation for me is about creating activities often where people don't feel shut out of research but they feel they can join in with it. So stakeholder participation then is about a way in which you, you try and get people involved in that sharing of perspectives and knowledge sharing uh, in order to come up with some solution to, to some problem. Bringing people who have different types of knowledge together is the only way we're going to tackle some of the big problems. We need to involve individuals from different knowledge backgrounds and we need to exchange knowledge between them so that we can learn from each other and so that we can have real world impacts. If we take this kind of approach to our work, uh, then I really believe that we can you know, ask better questions and as researchers come up with answers that really can actually solve some of these hugely difficult challenges. Mm -hmm. 
Within the Sustainable Learning Project, we looked at knowledge exchange, and in the Involved Project, we looked at participation. Both of these projects combined and working with a variety of experts, researchers, communities and projects came up with principles or ways of better designing um, knowledge exchange processes so that we can have an impact on society. Thank you.